Thank you very much for joining us, everybody. I am with Richard Buckler, Coach Supreme out of Barcelona, Spain. Richard, thank you very much for joining me. How are you doing today? I'm doing very good, Scott. How are you? Great. Everything is good. Great. Yes, it's wonderful. So as a motivational success coach type, what would you say are uh, two of the most important attributes of anyone that really wants to achieve uh, a high degree of success in their life regardless of what you know let's who it's success for me may be different from success from you mm. but all i know is i'm not there yet so what are two or three things that i should be looking more deeply at in order to achieve success in life just two things will be planning and taking action First planning and taking action because you need to know what you want to do and then you need to take the first step to actually do what it is you want to do. But there's no point in taking action if you have no plan. And there's no point in having a plan if you don't take action. And this is what happens to a lot of people. They read, they take a course, they take a Udemy course, they read about goal setting, they subscribe to podcasts, YouTube, whatever it may be. And then they're just still like that and they don't do anything. So as then there's I'm the people who take action and then they do lots of things, but they don't know why they're doing it. Right. And then right. they don't get anywhere. So, Two things have to fuse together. So as you were talking, I had this image in my head of you and I jumping into a car and driving all okay. over Barcelona and never having planned like what our goal was, where we wanted to go, what we wanted to do. And you were thinking we were going to Madrid and I'm thinking we're going to Marseille. And <laughs> so where we are, we're taking all of this action, right? And, uh, and getting nowhere and frustrated with each other because you're telling me to turn left and I know it's right and, and everything else. And then the flip side of that, of course, was we're sitting, uh, you know, having a, a lemon tea or something and at the, you know, the boardwalk and looking at the beautiful scenery in, Bar in Barcelona and talking, 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 talking about how we're going to do this in Madrid and how we're going to do that in Marseille because we figured out we can do both and we're going to do this, we're going to do this and hours and days and weeks go by and of course we're still sitting there sipping on our tea not having achieved anything. That's it. So when you, when you have your plan and you take action, that's all there is. That is really the key to, the key to success for me. Now, of course, there's a lot goes into planning. There's a lot goes to taking action. But if you can focus and think of just those two things and nothing more, because again, what people do is they overthink what they have to do. Right. And then they think, well, planning, taking action, getting resources, doing this, what do I have to buy? What do I have to do? Who do I have to meet? No, just plan what you want to do and take the first step. It doesn't have to be all the steps. As long as you get moving, that's the main thing. It's like when we decided to record our course, you said, okay, Richard, here's the plan. Fill it in. Send it to me. I'm going to be in Barcelona next week. And we're going to record it. And we did. And we, we had the plan. We took the action. There we are. And that's it. And it was a, it was a terrific experience <clears throat> recording with you too, Richard. I, I have to say it was, uh, it was incredibly enjoyable for me, and I was so happy that we did it. Yeah, yeah, but that's it. And if we had, we could have planned and we could have said, oh, well, let's discuss the course. Let's go for the long lunch and discuss the course. And we would never have got it done. We <laughs> just right. did. That's right. And I think there's a there's an aspect there of, is it confidence? Is it um, uh, faith, maybe? Like, because I had faith that you knew. And I'm faith, confidence, yeah, like both. I, I had confidence that you knew your topic. Like you gave me the mm -hmm. list. I looked at the list. I said, this makes sense uh, because I know a little bit about your topic and, and enough to be dangerous. And then I knew that, for, and I knew uh, and was confident, believed, had faith that you could pr present on it. So there wasn't this, okay, Richard, like, you know, what are you going to be talking about here? Let's just really check this out. It was just mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. lights, camera, action, go. And I think I went. I remember the fuck. <laughs> and sometimes I forgot what what finger I was supposed to move. I was wondering why you were waving at me, Scott. I was like, why is he waving at me? <laughs> but no, it's true. I, I think one of the killers that most people have is over analysis. Yeah. Because, like you said, you could have overanalyzed each section and said, "Well, what are you going to talk about there? Well, why that? Why this? Why that?" But a lot of it is you have to let go and say. Go, go with the flow to a certain extent, 
because you know that the direction is going to be right and the outcome is actually going to be right as well. Yeah. And same for my part, that I could have overanalyzed, well, what am I going to say here? What am I going to say there? What am I going to do now? But sometimes you just have to go and you have to say, okay, we're going to do it. I'm a professional, you're a professional, we know it's going to work. Right, right. And, and I was thinking it. too, from your side, you could have said, well, I don't know, is that camera angle? Like, is the lighting mm -hmm. right? You know, I mean, there's, there's so many things that you can kind of pick apart, right? And yeah. Uh, I actually had a conversation today with uh, another co-instructor of mine who's in Nicaragua right now. I'm in Kenya right now. You're in Barcelona, Spain right now. Uh, and he was talking about perfectionism. And we were oh. talking about perfectionism, right? And how they're, like it doesn't exist. It's a total no. subjective thing. And, of course, you know, you may, you being the audience, may like the video. You may dislike the video. Chances are... You know, if there's a thousand viewers, there's going to be a thousand different degrees of like and dislike that's going on, mm -hmm. and there's nothing that we can do about it. I mean, the uh, you know, Star Wars is a huge franchise. It just came out with a new movie. Uh, Black Panther is uh, like doing a billion dollars in sales. And ah, that's from popular. Star Wars. What's that? I didn't know that was from Star Wars because I it's saw not, people it's not, talking it's on not. Facebook. They're oh, totally different. They're totally different. They're both okay. owned by Disney, but one's okay. Marvel and one's Lucas Films. But they're both uh, huge watching. films and very well received. And believe it or not, there are people that don't like them. So, mm -hmm. uh, you, you know, if the Black Panther and Star Wars can't, uh, you know, satisfy 100% of the population, I mean, these are people that are really, really upset about the movie. <laughs> it's mm. destroyed Luke Skywalker and... The Black Panther doesn't well, do whatever he did, you know. So I, uh, I think this is this is one of the big problems that people will have five or ten courses at eighty percent ready to go, but because it's not perfect, they won't release them, or a product, or whatever it may be, a book. Yes. And because it's not perfect, they say I can't release it. And then what happens? You have one person who creates one course; it's good enough. They put it out there, and then they get better on the second course. But they have the first course, and then they get better on the third course. So no, I think it's perfection. I don't think exists. No, well, it doesn't exist. Me, and then we try to. It's people that strive for it. All they do is procrastinate because of it, or they get very little done. Uh, and it's mm. really, you know, who is a perfectionist <clears throat> that I probably would 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 not argue against was Michael Jackson. Okay, yes. And Michael Jackson was very, very particular. And of course, in his case, this is the dance step. And when three mm -hmm. of the people do it right and the fourth person doesn't do it right, it's obvious on stage, right? So mm -hmm. he had a high degree, you could call it perfectionism or you could call it high standards, right? Because it's not, yes. it's not an arbitrary thing. Like when, when we go bang, 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 and you go bang, 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 it's... It's a problem, right? Yes. So he did a commercial for uh, Pepsi, and they were going to have this. They were having this massive conference. They Pepsi knew that when they did this commercial, it was going to energize all of their sales teams all across the world. Everyone was going to be so excited, and it was just going to raise the company up. And Coca Cola was going to go bankrupt because of it. Blah 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 blah. Right? This is what the Pepsi guys were thinking. So they have this mm. conference, and they thought, oh, my God, if we could just get Michael Jackson to let us show some of the commercial, ah, oh, it would just fire everybody up. And so he asked Michael Jackson, and Michael Jackson said no. And it's like the, like the guy was just devastated, like, no, Michael, you don't understand. And he tried, and he tried, and he tried to explain. And, and Michael Jackson said no, no, no. And then so finally he said to Michael Jackson, like, you know, you should have said at the beginning, like, why won't you let us show your commercial? And he says, Michael Jackson, it's not done. It's not finished. And I would never, ever show, you know, such a, you know, such a poor commercial as what we have right now. It's going to take us another two or three months to get it right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so then he explained to Michael Jackson, this isn't the commercial to go out to the world. This is just we've got, like, 5,000 guys in a room that love you, and we just want to tease them with, a, you know, a couple, like, shots of the commercial. It's not the finished thing or anything. Just, like, yes. you sing a couple notes or what. And Michael goes, oh, 
that's what you want? No problem. And he then he got his guys, whatever, to put together something that was like good enough to get everybody excited at the but it was just interesting how they had a problem communicating. And because Michael Jackson mm -hmm. was just like, oh no, I don't want anyone seeing anything that's not like the perfect. quality. I don't want to say perfect now. I want to say, you know, the quality standard that is the Michael Jackson quality standard, right? Mm -hmm. And then the other guy was like, we just want your face up on the screen. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, we can put something oh, together man. that'll it'll work for that. Mm -hmm. right? And and of course no, it was I, a huge I, I success. I think it's important because if you're at that level of Michael Jackson, yes, but I think sometimes, and I see it in work, I see it in businesses that they want to try and be perfect and then they never get that product out. Yeah. And the problem is it can't be perfect or, or the person who has to keep studying because they have to have that MBA, they have to have that PhD and they don't start doing it. That's right. And, not taking action. and, that's, and that's a big problem, you know? Interesting. All right, Richard, thank you very much for joining us. I really appreciate you, as you know, and I really appreciate having you on the show. This is the, uh, what is the show called anyway? It's been a while. This is the Podcasting Unleashed Power Podcasters uh, show starring Scott Patton, the Dean of Blogonomics and Podology. Thank you very much for joining us, everybody. Richard, if somebody wanted to know more about the things that you're up to, maybe they'd like to have uh, you as a coach. Uh, what should they do? Where should they go? They should go and visit Richard Butler, the successcoach.com. www.richardbutlerthesuccesscoach.com. And they will find all the information there. They will find information about who I am, what I do, and uh, courses that I've actually given as well. Awesome. Um, which, which is great. Thank you very much, Scott. Have a great evening. Yeah. See you, every, see you next time, everybody. Bye-bye.